It's been 26 years uh, since I competed in the uh, National AXO competition. And a lot of people don't realize, but um, the NAACP started an African American Cultural Technological Scientific Olympics a while back because what they found uh, was that students that were participating in a lot of uh, the science fairs and other competitions unfortunately weren't getting their just due. And so, uh, and also there weren't as uh, diverse of the areas in which people could compete. And so the NAACP said, let's start uh, an Olympics that promotes uh, academics and cultural. Uh, I actually participated in a project that dealt with biology, but you've got everything from performance art uh, to uh, dealing with science. Uh, you know, this is representative uh, and defies uh, the continual myths uh, that somehow uh, our children, based on the color of their skin, can't perform. And we see highlighted by the folks behind us uh, that they are true champions in their own right, um, but have bright futures. Uh, and so I'm very proud uh, to stand with you, uh, knowing uh, that the future, as we just talked about uh, our Constitution, that the future of our nation is bright. Because as we continue to see the investment from Montgomery County Public Schools, uh, from your parents and community, all coming together to support you and make sure that we provide the best and brightest, regardless of skin color, regardless of socioeconomic status, all those things I talked about before matter so much. And I just want to offer my congratulations to you. Now, I want you to understand that this is a tough competition. There are students nationwide that compete in this. Uh, each of them have local competitions where they have to win at their local levels. Then they go on uh, to the national competition. And out of those, there are only gold, silver, and bronze winners. And so I'm very proud that Jamal uh, Bowman is here, a bronze medal winner uh, in the national AXO competition. Go ahead and raise your hand, Jamal. We've got Kaylin Richards, and Kaylin uh, competed at uh, the national level as well. And then uh, we've got uh, John Clark's, uh, right, which uh, competed also. And um, John, you should have been up here. <laughs> His brother, brother Caleb is representing him, but um, but you, you you're holding it down for him, so I appreciate that. Um, this is the 38th. Uh, AXO competition this year, uh, this past year in uh, July. And, you know, we had eight Montgomery County gold medalists that competed at the national level. Uh, and the areas that they competed in were vocal, biology, earth and space sciences, mathematics, medicine and health, chemistry, poetry, and painting. And so Jamal, uh, a rising senior at Northwest, uh, uh, Northwood, I'm sorry, uh, high school won the bronze medal uh, in contemporary dance. And let me just tell you that um, I'm gonna ask him afterwards to give me a few pointers because my daughters say that I'm getting old and I'm losing a step. So Jamal, if you can help me out with that, I really appreciate it. But let me just finish by saying this. Um, to continue to make sure that we have folks uh, who care about this particular program uh, and who know and understand and support it, is extremely important and so I encourage all folks that are in the community to make sure that you talk to your kids about AXO uh, to contact either Pat or Joanne uh, reach out to them your local NAACP chapter and let them know uh, because participating in these kinds of science fairs is really important to continue uh, pushing our children to achieve success and so uh, with that um, I'm just going to read the last part because I know I'm running over and I apologize madam president um, but uh, I did just want to read uh, the names of the uh, gold medalists uh, represented at the Montgomery County NAA, uh, NAACP National AXO competition in July. Uh, Jabal Bowman of Northwood High School in Contemporary Dance. Uh, Silvana Aho from Poolsville in Chemistry. Claire Asenso of Quince Orchard High School in Poetry. Uh, John Clark uh, in Mathematics, Medicine, and Health. And in, and in Performance Poetry did too. Kaylin Richards of Northwood in Vocal Classic and uh, Vocal Contemporary, uh, Devin McCoy of Einstein in Painting, Howard Nicholson III of Poolsville in Biology, Earth and Space Sciences, and in Instrumental Contemporary, 
and the team of Nathan Peoples of Blake and Kaylin Richards of Northwood in vocal classical and in vocal contemporary. And so now, therefore, be it resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby honors the creative talent and academic achievement of all of these students and applauds their dedication to their chosen fields. And it's signed this 20th day of September in the year 2016 by our council president, Nancy Florine. I'd like to first say thank you to the county council and especially to Councilman Craig Rice, who we are honored uh, to not just be seen with him, but that he is a national AXO medalist in biology. We were thrilled to find that out. And uh, we also want to thank James Stowe from the uh, Human Rights Commission. But this is really an opportunity for our students and a way to say thank you for the tremendous amount of hard work they did all year long to participate in this fabulous competition and enrichment program. These students uh, worked hard, not just on their craft, but attended workshops, and we had a variety of programs before and after to enrich our students and to give them the opportunity that is often missed. So we thank, again, County Councilman Craig Rice, Jim Stowe, all the county members. We especially thank the parents, um, Marcy Clark, Helen, Kelly Andrews, for their, pardon me, um, Richards, for their participation and their encouragement of their students and the encouragement that they gave throughout the year for the program. AXO is an amazing program that is sponsored by the NAACP to encourage excellence in students and to encourage community support. So thank you again for this opportunity for our students, and we look forward to the program this year and our amazing students that will be competing again. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm thankful to have the medal. Um, it was a really hard competition, and out of all the kids, it was surprising, but really great. It was a really great feeling to get the medal, even though even okay I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> even though um, it was a tough competition I wasn't expecting to win but winning gave me that uh, confidence to now see that I do have the talent to go off to college and really do good in sc school for dance and really just prosper and that's what I'm going to do and this year I plan to get gold even though last year I got bronze um, yeah, so it was a really fun competition, and I'm really glad I did it, and I can't wait to do it this year, too. He started off by saying, I didn't think I was going to get anything, and now I'm going for gold. Competitions like this matter so much because it encourages people to believe in themselves and strive for nothing but the best. So best of luck to you, and best of luck to all of the students as they go on to their endeavors.